Hey, what's up everyone? Slender here with a very short to the point video. How about that? Pretty nice, right? Well, let's get right into it. So a couple things, uh, we're going to talk about Overwolf. It is still working. It is still legit and okay to use. You're not going to get banned for it. If you get banned and you think you're banned because of Overwolf, it was probably a coincidence and you were banned for something else because I did see a couple comments um, saying that, hey, I got banned for this, don't use it. I don't know if they're trolling. There have been trolls that got on there and said, you know, similar stuff, and I usually just kind of remove them from the channel so they don't continue spreading lies. But um, just keep in mind a couple things here, folks. One, I love my YouTube channel. I have a passion for gaming, new world, and I love the mini map. And I would never intentionally do something to cause um, any kind of negativity towards you guys. And if I tell you that something is legit and you get banned for it and you lose out on $40 in your account and all that hard earned work, then I would never forgive myself. So um, I would never say something that wasn't true knowingly. And to my knowledge, it's fine. I mean, even uh, Katie, the developer, you know, I said, I put a, uh, posted a tweet. I tweeted <laughs> today saying, you know, I'm going to be streaming tonight. I'm going to show you guys how to use Overwolf with the uh, mini map and the filters. And, you know, Katie, uh, the dev, you know, dev Katie, she, uh, she liked my post, you know, and uh, also I've made countless videos on this, you know, and, and nobody that has followed my videos has gotten banned for this. So we're going to install Overwolf. I'm going to show you how to, it works. Um, and, you know, number two, the, uh, the external maps are no longer working. So that has changed. And I'm going to show you guys how to get Overwolf working with the map and the filters and the location streaming. So, oh, I guess this turned out to not be so short, but this was stuff that I needed to say. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get started. Couple things, guys. Couple things. Um, the external maps don't work anymore, and it doesn't show your location streaming. So uh, I initially thought that it just wasn't working anymore, and then they actually wrote a message, and I'll show you guys all that really quick. But first, first things first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're gonna install Overwolf from scratch. So guess what you do? Overwolf.com. That's right. So just go over here, type in overwolf.com and click on gamers or highlight gamers rather and download Overwolf. Should take a couple seconds if you have blazing internet speed like Slendy and uh, go ahead and run that application. Oh my God, that was so loud and I apologize. Then just hit yes, next and uh, don't, oh yeah, yeah, you wanna ch check mark that and I shouldn't have to explain that part. So we're good, hit next. Um, whatever. I always watch out for these things. Always watch out for those hidden things. Normally they're pre-checked or, you know, you, you think you have to click on it. So watch out for that stuff like McAfee and Norton. Anyway, next. And, uh, just going to magically come back when this is done. All right. So it's installed. Go ahead and launch and we're going to close this. And that will be in the description, the, uh, the URL for overwolf.com. There's going to be a couple things in the description. One of them is going to be my video on where I get my wallpapers <laughs> because so many people still ask and I made a video just for you guys and you're still asking, where do I get my wallpapers? So I'm going to put that video in the description. I'm also going to put my discord in the description because apparently it's hard to find. So once this is up and running, you're just going to click on the magnifying glass search and type a new world. And there it is, New World Minimap. Install that bad boy. And uh, got it. It's installing. And we'll come back when it's done. All right, it's done. So there we are. Overlay permission, sure. Now, this is the map I was talking about. This is the map we're going to be using. But guess what? There's no streaming. That's just because the game's not even running yet. So we're going to go ahead and close this. Close this. And we're going to launch New World. And we're even going to do the test realm because, I mean, if it works on the test realm, it's going to work on live. So we're going to launch the PTR real quick. And there it is. Once again, I apologize for the loud sounds. I wasn't prepared. But I'm going to turn it down now. 
Maybe. Nope, never mind. Oh, yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, we're turning it down. All right. So we're going to load up old Slendy Boy. I can't grow a beard, so every one of my characters has a beard. So once you have the game running and you see the minimap on here, then what you're going to do is you're going to click this button that says stream location. You click on sure, and it's going to bring up the map and it's going to, it should have this green light. Now, if it doesn't have this green light and it's orange or red, then you either have something going on with your router, maybe a firewall, maybe antivirus, or it could just be a little glitch. And the way to fix it is close the game, close Overwolf, and then restart Overwolf and restart the game in that order. Always open Overwolf first. Sometimes you could get away with running the game and then opening Overwolf, but usually it's better to run Overwolf first and then start the game. Now, if you plan on doing the, these troubleshooting steps, make sure that when you close Overwolf, you're actually going to your taskbar and you're right clicking on it and exiting right there. Uh, if you are, if you just want to double check and, you know, make sure that you're actually killing the process, then you could go here and just scroll down, put it in alphabetical order, scroll down to the O's and there's Overwolf and shut down everything that has this little doggo icon. And that's going to completely shut down Overwolf. And once everything's shut down, including the game, restart it first Overwolf, then the game. Okay. So now that we have that and we have our streaming this is what's no longer working the external maps so if you go to newworldmap.com which is my favorite one oh it doesn't work on firefox by the way i don't know why and it's pain in the butt here we are a new world map and when you scroll down here, big red writing. Overwolf is currently having problems getting the location from the game. Uh, until this is fixed, the latest version of a turn of map can read location from screen if you have it enabled in the game settings. And this is the map from the Overwolf add-on. And as you can see, everything still works. And I'm going to put my auto run on so that you can see that it is showing my location. And if I want to put, you know, or calcum in there, it's going to work. It's going to show me all the different Orichalcum locations. So it's working. Isn't that great? So there you go, guys. So um, what you're going to have to do is just Alt-Tab if you don't have a second screen. Now, if you do have a second screen, this is what, you, what it would look like. See that pretty sweet now i'm hoping that one day they let us run this from our phone so if you don't have a second screen you know kind of like if your mic's broken you could use discord from your phone just you know set it right next to your keyboard that would be so cool so um, if they ever do add that functionality i'll let you guys know and i'll show you how to get it working that would be so cool now before i end the video i want to just quickly go over um, and show you guys proof that this program, Overwolf Minimap, will not get you banned. And if it does, again, send me a screenshot, let me know on Discord, send me a DM, and I'll get to the bottom of it. And anytime you want to check this, and this will be in the description too, guys, uh, go to um, Developer Corner and scroll down. Oh, I remember when the luck fact came out. Remember that? Yes. I was like pushing them. Give us luck information. All right. So we're going to go down to dev blog minimap. Yes. If you have any questions about the minimap, look here. And one of the things I want to show you guys is the word 24 hours. At this time, I can confirm that we have not banned anyone for using the minimap mod from Overwolf. Thanks for your support. And there's also another post that I'm going to also include in the description. 
And here it is, Overwolf add-ons okay. So this is from Wyvern. I'm really glad to see you're here at the forums, blah, blah, blah. Regarding that, you can refer to this. Hope this clears up the concern. So this is from Kay. She is the developer, one of the main developers for New World. If the add-on is reading or showing anything other than your location on the map, including the location of resources like nodes or places of interest, then it is against the TOS. The map is not reading anything. Okay, so some people find this really, really hard to understand, and I'm going to do my best to clear it up for you. So what she's talking about is the app or the mini map reading. I don't know if it's like reading the code or whatever, but pulling, pulling the resources from the game. So what this is, is let's say you have an iron deposit. Okay and it's right in front of your character on in the game, in the actual game, and you're looking at it and you're standing right there. If the map showed you that node, that it was there and that it was available, you know, meaning it was pulling actual information from the game, then that would be against the terms of service. Another example is I now mine that node with my pickaxe and now the node is gone. In the map, if it was pulling the resources from the game, pulling data from the game, extracting and giving to us data from the game, then that iron node would then disappear on your mini map with the filters because the iron node is no longer there and no longer available. And since the mini map is pulling resources from the game, telling us where stuff is and if it's there in the game currently, then that's against the terms of service. And then when it pops back up and the iron node respawns and it showed that on the mini map again that's pulling data from the game but that is not what overwolf does overwolf is simply giving you an image of what the map looks like that's it and then they put these little images these little tiny pictures of iron nodes on top of that image like an overlay and you could turn those images on or off it is not pulling any information from the game whatsoever. It's just a picture. It's no different than you copying and pasting a screenshot of the Eternum map and then marking on that map with little pictures that you made yourself of these little iron nodes and putting them on there where they are. Now, if that iron node is mined on your picture, it wouldn't change because it's just a picture. It's not pulling resources from the game. So that's what they're talking about, folks. See right here, Red Rowan, congratulations. You are an intelligent individual. They don't pull any information at all. They pull up the area of an online map and use your location. Okay, so that's my next point is that the only thing that it is showing you and the only thing it is pulling from the game, meaning it is you know, retrieving this data is your player location. That is the only thing that it's pulling from the game and that is okay they said it that's perfectly fine you're not going to get banned for using the location streaming and here's her post saying to clarify add-ons that read position only are considered okay at this time should our position on that change we will post on the official notice that luxendra has been updating 24 hours prior to taking action so are you using an add-on that pulls only your location, which Overwolf does? Yes, we are. You are good at this time and no action will be taken. Keep watching the official channel in case this position changes. Are you using an add-on that pulls more than your location? And we're not using an app that does that. We're using the Overwolf minimap add-on and it does not do that. It just gives us a picture and uh, shows us where the stuff is. So there you go. They're gonna give us a 24 hour notice. And trust me, when that happens, I'll be the first to know and you guys will be the first to know if you like and subscribe to this channel all right guys so i hope that helps clear up the confusion for anybody that thinks they got banned um, you probably got banned for something else and if you did get banned for using the mini map um, the overwolf add-on then let me know show me a screenshot show me a message and i will do everything i can to contact the devs and find out what the heck's going on that i promise you i will figure it out and find out and clear up that confusion okay so go ahead and download it go ahead and install it 
Daddy Slendy has got your back. Don't you worry, your pretty little mind. We will figure it out together. So that's going to do it for the video. If you guys have any questions at all, the, uh, the link for my Discord will be in the description. So be sure to check it out. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments too, okay? And if uh, you do have trouble with this or just can't figure something out, get, hit, hit me up on Discord, send me a DM, share your screen, and we'll get it working together. All right? So let me know. Just make sure you send that DM in Discord because it's getting real hard to respond to all my comments because you guys just talk so damn much. <laughs> and I love it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. And you guys all have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.